There's no doubt that raising a Pokémon to level 100 is a long and somewhat tedious task, but there's a few experienced grinding methods in Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet that will make things a lot easier. Let's take a look at them. What's happening everyone? It's Abdali here back again with another awesome Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet tips and tricks tutorial video. Today's video is all about teaching you the best ways to grind experience so that you can get your Pokémon battle ready at level 50 or take it a step further and get them to level 100. Now this video is going to encompass all different types of players out there. Whether you just started out your game, whether you got five badges, or whether you've already beaten post-game. This is going to help you out, so thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, I appreciate all of your support on these videos. Recently, we had a very, very unfortunate channel hijacking, and it's going to take a little while to get all of the views back, so any kind of love, any kind of engagement on this video would totally help out. Don't mind me, I'm out here catching Pokemon with the brand new Fixture Gaming S2 mount that allows me to use my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller mounted to the brand new Nintendo Switch OLED model. Yeah, this thing is going to be great for your hands and you're never going to want to leave home without it. Simply because you can use this to get rid of these Joy-Con controllers. Forget those guys. Now, what's cool about this is that you can actually articulate the neck over here and you can articulate the head for all these different kind of viewing angles on there. So if you guys have an OLED model, pick up the S2. If you guys don't have the OLED model and the regular Nintendo Switch, definitely pick up the S1. They're both really amazing and I highly recommend them. So shout out to the sponsors of today's video. Check out Fixture Gaming's link in the description and trust me, you're going to love it. Okay, let's get this tutorial started. I've got this very cute shiny Charmander that I just hatched out and what we're gonna be doing with this thing is leveling him up very, very quickly. Now the fastest way of leveling up your Pokemon is going to be the use of candy in the game. Now if you've gone through and, ex and explored different areas, you'll notice that you may have seen a Pokeball item on the ground that's going to be called an Experience Candy Extra Small, uh, Experience Candy Small, Medium, Large, Extra Large. These are the fastest ways. The Extra Large Candy over here gives about 30,000 experience. So you can use that and you'll be able to level up your Pokemon very, very quickly. Now, of course, rare candy is also a thing since previous generations, but with the advent of these experience candies, you can get multiple levels at one time. So really save your rare candy for when the Pokemon are around like level 90 to 90, 99, really. Anyway, don't waste your rare candies. Uh, so you may be asking, how do you get the really good experience candies like the extra large ones? Well, that's gonna be through raids. Yeah, so doing Terra Raid battles, the higher the stars, the more experience candies you're going to get. So make sure that you guys group up with those and knock them out. All right, so other than that, you may not have Pokemon that are super strong. That's okay, we're gonna show you a different way of doing it. And that's going to be involving finding Chansey in the northernmost area of the entire map, right over this way. So if you have the map to the north province, you can easily warp over there and then move forward. Those of you guys that are just starting out your game, and trust me, when I did my playthrough of Pokemon Violet, I use this method a lot to raise my Pokemon's levels up because I don't like grinding all that much and I really just want to do as much or as little as possible to get them strong. So if you don't have your ride Pokemon fully maxed out with climb, dash, super jump, and glide, you don't have to have those things. Right over here is Mesa Goza. All you have to do is take this path all the way through here to Cortando. All you got to do is follow this winding path this way. You'll see a land bridge over here so you don't need swim. You can keep on going right over this way. You're going to come right over here and you'll see another Pokemon Center. You'll eventually make your way to Cascarafa. Once you're there, you're going to head through the desert right out this way, and then you can go through this little dragon cave right over this way to come out, cross this land bridge, and you'll reach Medali. Now, once you're done with Medali, head on over here this way. It doesn't show that there's a land bridge there, but indeed there is. So you can walk over this way, and then you can start going towards the north through these areas right over here. You'll eventually find your way to the North Province Area 3, where we're going to warp right over there. It's super simple. Now, you can do this very early on. Um, I would definitely say, I would maybe reserve this to when you've already gotten like four or five gym badges, and you've got some Pokemon around like level 20 or level 30. Um, some good Pokemon in this area are going to be Grievard. Um, I would love it if you guys would catch a Grievard right over here. Just throw a quick ball at it and you'll be able to catch one. Uh, what's really awesome about him is that he's a physical attacker and the fact that he's a ghost type with uh, some physical moves called uh, Crunch would definitely work out. Uh, you can also use the same thing with Houndstone. Really awesome ghost type Pokemon in the area that will help you out and make this a lot easier. Or if you guys are playing through um, Pokemon Violet, 
I would definitely say Seraledge. If you've evolved your Charcadet, uh, this Pokemon's very good for this. You're going to be wanting a Ghost Typing to make things a lot easier, but of course it's not necessary, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be battling a whole bunch of Chansey over here. Now, Chansey is going to be a Pokemon that gives a boatload of experience and only has one attacking move, which is going to be Double Edge. So what we need to do over here is before we get started, we want to make sure that we have our Pokemon equipped with a Lucky Egg. If you've already beaten five gyms, you'll see Jacques automatically in a cutscene, and what he'll do is he will uh, give you a Lucky Egg. There's only one in the game, and you can't farm multiples of them off of Chansey or anything like that. So right now, I just gave that uh, Lucky Egg to my Charmander, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to look around this area in hopes that we can find a Chansey. Now, it's going to be a relative relatively rare spawn. There's not too many other normal type Pokemon over here, so your best bet is, outside of just doing that, is making a picnic for it. Now, this picnic is going to be relatively easy. You can do a level 1 normal encounter power, or you can do a level 2 encounter power. It honestly doesn't matter. So let's take a look at this right now and see exactly what is happening over here. Uh, those of you guys that have recipes from the person in Madali, there's a little sandwich guy over there, um, you can actually use this thing called the Ham Sandwich. Uh, it's very simple, it's going to be called Encounter Power Normal, and it's got very basic ingredients over there. So, get this recipe and make it along with, you can see the ingredients right on screen. This recipe is so simple, all you have to do is put the three slices of ham over here, really easy, boom, 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 and then you grab your pickles. One, two... It doesn't even matter how you make the sandwich, you're good. Spam the A button for the bun, spam the A button for the pick, and you're all set in less than 10 seconds. So you made the sandwich, unfortunately you have to go through the entire watching animation of eating it, but it's not that big of a deal. What we're wanting is encounter power normal. So, with that being said, the spawns that are non-normal types will start to go away, and a lot more chancy will start popping up. And that's exactly what we want. So right over here, we've got this ham sandwich, we ate it, now we have 30 minutes of Chansey spawns. Right over in the top counter, uh, it says uh, encounter power normal, we're going to exit out of here, and we are all set and ready to go. So Charmander right over here, already leveled up four, three times with a 100 experience. Doesn't even matter, but there's a Chansey right in our sight over this way. So your best bet right now is making sure that Charmander is first in line because he's going to get all of that experience. Uh, we want to lock onto a Chansey, and then as soon as Chansey's running away, throw the Pokeball with ZR uh, to get the surprise attack. Now, the reason why you want the surprise attack is because it gives you an extra um, an extra turn, an extra turn of battling. So right over here, you can use any of your Pokemon like I recommended. Grievard, Houndstone, uh, Fluttermane, any kind of ghost-type Pokemon. Uh, but for this one, we're going to use my uh, Palafin because I want even more experience on that. So we're going to switch out. Super easy. Switch out, and then you are going to... Knock out this Chansey as fast as possible with whatever move you want. Now, Chansey only has four moves in the game. Helping Hand, Light, Screen, Double Edge, and Soft Boiled. So, really, all you want to do is just knock it out as fast as possible. Boom, right over here. One hit KO because I've already EV trained this Dolphin. So now, pay attention. Um, Charmander just got 20,000. 20,000 experience off of one singular Chansey. Now, how awesome is that? All right, so I'm going to skip out on learning all these moves over here. Uh, we don't necessarily need that. I'll go remember them later. But as you can see over here, with 20,000 experience, Charmander is already going to evolve. And that's going to be pretty awesome. So Charmander's evolving into Charmeleon over here. Really great. Look at that shiny baby. Love that. All right, so that is going to be the main method of leveling up Pokemon. That battle took me literally less than one minute. And we got 20,000 experience for that specific Pokemon. Now, you can do this any time in the game. Now, let's say, for example, you guys have already beaten the game. So, slight spoiler alert on what's happening next right over here. Um, go over to the Zero Gate, and we're going to show you where even higher level Chansey are. And this is going to be your main method of grinding experience outside of doing Terra Raid battles at high star ranks. So, anyway... What you're going to want to do is head on over to the crater right over this way. This is absolutely in post-game. So, like I said earlier, if you haven't already gotten here, haven't already seen the end credits, then just use the regular Chansey in the northern province. Uh, but right now is going to be exactly this. We want the high-level Chanseys, because rather than just using the like level 40 Chansey, we're going to be doing that over here in this particular area. 
So right now we're still having the encounter level one on our um, on our Pokemon right now because we ate those sandwiches. So we have about like 25 minutes left of this boost. What we want to do is we want to get down to uh, the third research lab. So what I like doing is I like running over to this very, uh, I don't know, first or second research lab over here. And then we're going to warp all the way down to an area where a lot of cool Paradox Pokemon like to hang out. So anyway, come on over this way. Super easy. Done, done. We're going to go inside this teleporter. Easy peasy. We're going to go research station number three. You've unlocked all these research stations through the main story. All right. Now we're over here. Boom, boom. Nice and easy. Okay, so instead of going underground at this point, you are going to take the hard left this way, and you're going to sprint all the way towards that giant tree. There's going to be a little rock formation right nearby that, and we're going to sneak right on in there. If you weren't paying attention, you may have missed this little spot. So right over here is where we want to go. And you can see, as soon as we walk in, there's a Chansey. Beautiful. Ugh! So we got our Chansey over here. I don't know if I got the extra encounter. No, no, no. The extra caught it off guard. But I didn't. That, that doesn't matter, honestly. So here's Palafin. Uh, we're going to swap in. Since this is post-game, you already have super strong Pokemon that can deal with this Chansey and one-shot it. So you shouldn't have any issues. All right. So here we go. So Chansey is going to be using Last Resort. It's got a different moveset over here. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. Because at this point of the game, you have the strongest Pokemon. So we're going to do a quick Drain Punch, knock it right out, and then just pay attention to how much experience Charmander gets. Uh, Charmander only got 12,000 over here, simply because he is at his middle um, his middle evolution stage. So that's okay. That, uh, that means that you're going to get a little bit less now, but that's fine. You're going to get the most amount possible. So here's Chansey. Let it run a little bit. We're going to throw the Pokeball at its back, and you're golden. Right over here, there's another Chansey in the back. This is really all we have to do here. That's how it's been since Generation 1. Anyway, um, you can see over here, now Charmeleon is all set and ready to go. And you can see that Charmeleon is all ready. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. Charmeleon evolved into our Charizard, so this is perfect. So, uh, of course, with Charizard over here, you're going to be able to get a lot of, like, physical moves. And since he's level 36, he could probably take on any one of these Chansey by himself. So, there you have it, everyone. The best ways of grinding experience in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Let me know what you guys thought of it. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about all the different methods over here. Which method are you guys using? Are you just bringing your Pokemon to level 50 so that you can use them in the battle leagues? Or are you bringing them to 100 just because you want to flex your level 100 collection. Can't wait to hear it. Anyway, let's continue the discussion in the comments below. And like always, I'm going to be working really hard on some other tutorials. So if you have any other ideas that you're curious about, let me know. All right, that's it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for liking. And thanks for turning on notifications. You guys are great. We'll see you later. Take care.